Hey everyone, welcome back to Miniature Painting 101, a series of videos where I teach you all about painting miniatures from start to finish and everything in between, including object source lighting. And this is part 77, Plasma Glow. So how to paint a glowing effect on a plasma gun or a plasma cannon. This is going to be on a plasma gun, but it can be easily applied to a plasma cannon if you want. So today we're going to put a glowing effect on this plasma gun held by the uh, guy with glowing eyes from one of the previous Miniature Painting 101s. And today we'll be using four paints, uh, four different blues, Calidor Sky, Teclas Blue, and Lothar Blue, which are a triad of colors from Citadel Range, and Skink Blue, which is a nice, very, very bright blue, almost like a white, uh, right? it's almost white, it's so bright, and airbrush, uh, or driver's on. So we'll start off with Kaladar Sky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two different consistencies for each of these paints. The first one is to uh, I thin it down slightly using a thinner medium, get a nice fluid consistency, and apply it to the source. And then I'm going to thin each paint slightly even more, and then use that to either uh, glaze on the glowing effect, or I'll just simply dry brush it on, depending on uh, which color. And if I'm dry brushing on, I don't need to actually thin it down. So once again, I start off with Calder Sky and got the entire space painted on nice and blue. But now I'm going to take the Calder Sky and I'm going to use this uh, thinner version of the Calder Sky because I thinned out even more to create a, almost a glaze. And then I'm going to go in each direction that I think the glow effect will be going on on the gun. So we're going to do two steps in this process. First on the gun, getting the glow on the gun done, and then we're going to do the guy. Uh, you can do both at the same time or in different steps just to show you how they're done. So right now, I'm going in each direction from the gun. Now, the, the, based on the wiring and the way that the gun is shaped, the uh, glow will go forwards and a little bit towards each of the edges of the gun, but not. it's mostly going to go forwards uh, towards the camera, for example, in this circumstance. So I'm going to go down on the gun uh, with the, the glaze Calador Sky and then just a little bit on each uh, edge, as you can see, so it creates that glowing appearance. After that's completely dry, now we're going to use Tec Teclas Blue. And what I'm going to do with Teclas Blue is essentially I'm going to do an overbrush on the wiring of the uh, of the plasma gun, and then what I'm going to do is a very light glaze once again around the edges of the of the center of the gun. That way, it's going to leave the Calador Sky towards the extreme parts, and the Teclas Blue is just going to be towards the edges of it. So as you can see, I'm just going to take this and do a quick glaze at the bottom of the gun and uh, towards the edges. And that way it really does create the, the light reflecting off the sides of the plasma gun since we already got a bit of a glow going with the Calador Sky anyway. I'm just going to repeat this with the back of the gun. And now Lothar Blue, repeat this process essentially. So once again, an overbrush. Just, uh, I'm gonna do an overbrush slash dry brush on the wiring to pick up the dry wiring and build up a nice gradient of colors. And uh, this one I'm focusing more on the edge, on the top parts of the gun. So as you can see, I'm focusing more on the ed the ones on the very closest edge and the, the top part of the plasma gun. And then I'm gonna repeat this process by just doing a quick uh, dry brush, in this case, um, around the edges. That way it picks up on the very edges of the of the gun once again. And that's essentially what you're doing. All you're doing is, is with each step, you start with the darkest, work your way towards the lightest, and you go more and more inside each time because the light source is the brightest on the inside and darkest away from where the light is hitting. And then finally, skink blue. Once again, I'm just going to do a quick dry brush of the top part of the gun and a little bit of towards the edges, but not go as far as I did the previous step, as I mentioned. So we're going to start with the glaze farthest away with the Calder Sky, work our way inwards with Texas Blue, Lothurn Blue, and now Skink Blue. But now we've created that glowing effect. As you can see now, it is, uh, it is the glowing effect is definitely there, and it's darkest the furthest away with the Calder Sky, and it's brightest now towards the very center of the gun. With when we're, that's where I'm focusing on this dry brush of Skink Blue, which is a dry compound from, uh, it's a dry paint from the Citadel range. And that's it. So now we've created our glowing effect on the gun. As you can see here, we started far, work away inwards, and that's that's essentially OSL 101. But now I'm going to show you how to create the glowing effect on the guy because his gun is still facing uh, towards the, the gunner as well, towards the Space Marine. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the area completely perpendicular to the way he's holding the gun because that is how the light would then shine towards the Space Marine. So if an area of his face is turned, we're only going to hit the part that is perpendicular to the gun. 
So once again, we're going to take our calendar sky, and we're going to thin it down to that glaze consistency. And now we're going to focus on everywhere that is perpendicular to that gun, uh, to the, the center of the gun at least. And so basically his chest plate, his shoulder pad, and half his face is going to be hit by the light source. Now he is turning his head, so you got to take into consideration the angle in which he is turning his head. And then we're going to shine this blue light on his mouthpiece and on his chest and on his shoulder pad, any part that would line up well with the, uh, with the gun, or at least the glowing part of the gun. And we're going to do the same thing that we did with the glowing effect on the plasma gun. We're going to start off with Calder Sky and work our way towards the gun with uh, each progressively lighter, lighter color. So the first part is just a key is, is just to get that Calder Sky and that nice glaze consistency and work it. Uh, feel free to start closer to the gun and work your way away from it and see how far you want, actually want to build it. Uh, I'm going to build it to about where the, the symbol is on the shoulder pad. And I'm just going to make sure to get a nice consistency of the color sky once again on the uh, towards the center of the gun. And then I'm going to repeat this process with Teclas Blue once again. Start my way towards the closest uh, part towards the gun and work my way away from it, going not as far as I did the previous step. And so I will just build up the Teclas Blue once again in thin consistency from the center of the chest and work my way towards the parts. I'm going to focus on like the part of this of his helmet which is uh, close to the gun and. I'm going to basically go to the edge of the shoulder pad, and uh, that way we got a nice brightness going to uh, darkness in the distance. The key is when doing OSL is to is kind of realize how the light would be coming off this object. So as you can see, if it's bright, it'll just be lighting up his his chest plate. And then uh, repeat this process once you have Lothar Blue, starting at the center of the the closest part to the gun is the chest plate. So each time I'll start with there and then work my way outwards, not going as far as I did the previous step. And at this point I'm just doing kind of an over brush or a dry brush really, really close on that uh, on the lips of his helmet and on the center of the chest. And then with the skink blue, I'll do a quick dry brush over that exact area once again, because that would be the brightest, closest part to the gun itself. So basically the goal is to create that effect that uh, the gun is bright and it's, it's bringing the light closer to the, to the Space Marine. And there it is. So now we've created our glowing effect uh, both on the gun and the Space Marine himself. It's not too hard. The key is just to set, start with the darkest color furthest away from the light source and work your way towards the light source with progressively lighter colors, focusing more on the inside of the light source and a brighter color, and uh, imagining it what parts that the light source would be hitting. So in this case, we're hitting, focusing on all the areas of the gun that the light source would be going towards and the parts of the Space Marine that the light source would be going towards. And feel free to go as bright or as dark as you want, as far away or as close as you want. Uh, just the, that just necessarily reflects the brightness of the light source. So thank you as always for watching this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned a bit. And stay tuned for part 78, which is next week, just around the corner. But if you don't want to wait for next week, check out the warp. Click on the link below for a free 14-day trial to my premium YouTube channel, where not only we get to see the next six months worth of miniature painting 101 episodes, you get to see over 60 start to finish painting tutorials, battle reports, and airbrush 101 series, just some awesome wargaming content. So go ahead and check out the warp. I think you'll love it. So thank you very much for as always for watching. Until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting everyone.